live now. Okay, we are back for our number two. Z, what's good, man? I'm chilling, man. Had a beautiful weekend with the family. We got some good weather yesterday. I feel good. We got a very great guest in the building. Yes. To follow up on that great energy we had with baby. The first guest. hour, which was yeah. great. Yeah. Um, this guest here is going to be featured on the podcast. Ooh. Next week, Whoa. next Sunday. Oh, so she doing a press run. Oh, and, I mean, okay. the press run is serious. And, and you know, I, I found out about her through Wayne. Big shout out to Wayne. Yeah. And he was like, yo, you got to get her on the show. That's what's up. And I was like, oh, word, it's serious. And then he was like, yeah, she has a great story. So I'm like, all right. I like stories. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's what you said? <laughs> I, no, in my head, in my head, I said, I like stories. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to contact her. And I spoke to her. Uh -huh. And she had tons of great stories and i was really? like oh hold up nah she gotta come on the radio show that's when i hit y'all up and it was like yo we got room on the fourth what's good i mean i was just saving her for the summertime yeah to be honest, i mean i'm the first entrepreneur like i when, before we started more apparel that's, that's i was shopping with her like on a weekly that's what like, i heard like every day type you know what i mean that's what i heard she i heard she was doing her thing kids, took out a sponsorship in the league mm. but, uh, you know to help promote her brand and help the kids so I mean, you know, just, just in case you have no idea no, who we're me. talking about. The Muscle Whisperer herself. The Muscle Whisperer. Oh, man, uh -oh. she wants to pay for the Platinum package. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Platinum package intro. Miss Faith Smash of Nenriki Therapy Ooh. and the House of Nenriki. Ooh. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. No. No. Double up. You no. got to double up. You know what I mean? Why? I'm really excited about this guest, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we had a great convo that you're going to hear next week on the podcast. And like I said, she has an amazing story, and I'm glad she's here to tell her story. So if she's going to be on the, the podcast next week, uh -huh. we don't want to spoil what you got planned. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Don't worry. Oh, so we good? Uh, you're good. You're good. Okay, you're good. okay. Just, you're good. Just making sure. I mean, we, we had a great convo. Um, it was a mix of her life mm. and the business mm. so i know i know you guys are going to go in on the business because yeah, i was like yeah you know your business right you know your business you come up here <laughs> yeah yeah so i'm just glad she's here i finally got to meet her today so that was great thank you for pulling up face smash how are you today i am amazing yeah. and you guys made me sound great what you mean? What you mean? Oh, nah, yeah. that's yeah. DSP. Yeah. That's the power of the DSP <laughs> promo code. <laughs> that's the power of the Yo, DSP they, promo they code. They are killing me with this promo code, <laughs> you know, man. I'm going to like, start asking for promo code, you too. Feel me? I'm just saying, Listen, but no. Nah. Go ahead. Introduce yourself to yes. the people. Tell them your name yes. all that good stuff. I am Faith Smash, a.k.a. Mm -hmm. the Muscle Whisperer in New Jersey. Uh -huh. I am owner-operator of... Therapy. Oh, and that's it, because I, I think you wear more caps than that. Oh, well, you right? sounded a little watered down. Right? You, I, I sounded a little watered down. Hold on. Yeah. Are you a, you're the designer of the interior space. Yes. Yeah, how are you just going to get... You are an event holster. Yes. You are the owner of your own shop because you have your own products. Mm. Facts. Mm -hmm. uh, should should so, I keep going? Or you so how come you, that sounded more potent? <laughs> the, that sounded a lot more potent than what I heard from you. It sounded a little like, ah, oh, you know, just a, nah. She try, she you try come up here and talk that talk, talk, that talk, girl. talk girl. You didn't work that hard, them tears in your eyes to come up here and be modest, girl. Talk that talk, man. Listen, when something's part of your journey, it's yes. just part of you. That's the yeah. vibe. Yeah, so, yeah, I like that. Now we're getting into it. There's no bragging. There's uh, no boasting. Uh, I uh, kind of forget all the things that I do. It's ooh. just it's mm. part of me. It comes naturally, innately. Mm. And I legit have to sometimes sit down, put pen to paper, and be like, yeah. oh, you did this, this? Mm -hmm. like, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still trying to figure that That's out sometimes. That's a dope feel. Yeah. That we, is a great as we feeling. all are, you know, that journey is uh, lifelong. That's never going to yes. end. You know, well, for the people that are trying to elevate and bring it to different levels, like the people in this room, you know. What yes, I mean? yes, yes, yes. So that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, the day you stop that is, you may as well just dig that's your own fact. hole. That's a fact. That's, life is over. That is a fact. Yeah. <laughs> life so is over. tell the people about how you got this business started and what the what motivated you to go into entrepreneurship, even mm. though. Ah, uh, an engagement. Okay. I was engaged to be married, mm -hmm. and 
and um, my finances weren't exactly where I wanted them to be. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing a bunch of diff different things, I had my day job. I mean, I had already been a massage therapist for some time, mm -hmm. spare time, part time. Um, but ultimately, I just wanted to save money and get myself out of debt and become more financially sound. Absolutely. So I don't come into a marriage um, being a burden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was my ultimate goal when I started. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then six months later, the engagement ended. Mm -hmm. And so did all of those other things that I was doing that was literally just left with my business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. And then once you got things going, because you, you started stream, steamrolling through things once you actually got this vision, like, you know what, I'm going to open my own business. So walk the people through the process of what it was like finding a location, getting your first, well, actually, back up, getting your first clients, because you didn't yeah, even start with the location. Yeah, how did you acquire your first client? Yeah, yeah um, I didn't have any clients. Mm -hmm. um, so what I did was I, I took a two-month little hiatus from the other projects. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, my parents were a godsend. They mm -hmm. helped to fund my move-in fees. Yeah. Um, I just stopped Weikert until I found something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear that. And then came across um, a little want. office. Yeah, it was a little office. It was like $500 a month. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. okay, I really don't have $500 a month to even pay, like additional, because mm -hmm. obviously I wanted to not be a burden. So now I'm adding on to the expenses. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so I learned about Groupon from a prior um, partnership that I had. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just went with that. So about a month prior, I set up my Groupon and I said, you know what, you know, let's go. I mean, if anything, the, the income that I get from Groupon, even if it just pays for the expenses, at least yeah. I know that that's not additional coming out of my pocket. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. absolutely. So, In the beginning, at least. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, absolutely. Because now you got to, she booked and busy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> that was a real pause yeah. right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. You know, it's been a transition though because it's been. So I started the business in February 2014, mm -hmm. I think it was. Um, and by June, that's when I ended up having to like really go full time. Yeah. But during that time, my schedule was booked up like three weeks in advance, three weeks solid. I'm working six, seven days a week. Uh -huh. I literally had to like slow myself down and be like, you know, you can't, you can't. You're burn yourself you have, up. You have mm. to say no. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, group, Groupon definitely. I mean, I still have clients to this day and I've increased my prices tremendously, like almost three times the amount and those clients are still remaining. So. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Good I mean, business it's, it's yeah, good business. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you learning, you certified, you, you're broadening, your, you're mastering your skills. So Always. yeah, of course, they gotta, you know. How important is that, do you feel about, because I noticed that about you. It's not just like, you know, you're here to give a quick massage and blah, blah, blah. Like you are definitely a master of your arts. Like how important is that aspect of it? Because most people could see, you know, you see most people popping up during the pandemic with new ideas every day, it seems yeah, like, yeah. right? And yeah. then now this person's now giving massages, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what's the, what makes you understand that now? You have to really take the time out to learn. And what gave you that drive and passion to want to learn so in depth about, you know, helping and healing people? Um, helping and healing myself. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. I had... Like I told you, it started with that. Damn, that's a big gem. You get some stuff for leaving. Damn, caught the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 Damn, <laughs> you gotta, you must, yo. I don't, I gotta ask, man. Do you have a mixtape on that thing that we don't know about? Because that was some real bars right there. Nah, it was, it was real. That was real. Oh, you did some. Matter of fact, you you might have did some real hardcore spoken word back in the day yep, yep. At, at some With event, the, man. Because yeah, you feel me? Because yep, yep, that yep. was real. Go talk that talk. I'm oh, sorry. Y'all selling the studio time? Here? <laughs> <laughs> talk that so talk. Go ahead. You, you were saying that you know healing yourself was important. That was yeah, the first heal, step. That was the first step. I mean, I didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Um, like I said, from the broken engagement, obviously that tore me down. Like mm. it literally, I lost like 30 pounds in two to three months, um, probably less. Um, so I really like literally was stripped down to nothing mm. and had to rebuild myself back up. So when you look at energy therapy, it's literally a representation of my personal growth. Mm. So when I touch somebody, that mm. personal growth goes into that. Mm. Um, now, don't be mistaken. People can't just pop up and become a massage therapist. You have to go to school for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I know, but there's yeah. some people out there. Yeah, you know, yeah. during the pandemic, people just pick yo. I gave my neighbor a massage. You want one too? Yeah, yeah. So this is not that situation. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure there's levels. Yeah. Matter of fact, hold on. I got a massage before. Walk the people through what, how you set it up, because even the setup when you get in there is just different. 
an experience. Absolutely. It's a different experience. I'm all about experiences. Mm -hmm. um, you have to immerse yourself in it. Mm -hmm. um, take yourself out of your, I mean, I, I say I transport people yeah. mm. to some place. I don't know where they go. That's not my business. Mm -hmm. um, but, but my hands help to trans, my hands and my energy help to transport you there. Mm. So um, we're looking at the ambiance. We're looking at the sense. So talk about the, without giving away the whole, you know Secrets, what I mean? You know the, what I mean? The candles was lit. It smelled so beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. set, set, there was a vibe. for the people. Go ahead. All right. So right now I have salt lamps in the room. Okay. So salt lamps is a lot. I do believe in the five elements. So okay. there's mm. um, fire, air, water, um, earth, mm -hmm. and I don't know why I always forget about the fifth one. Is it like water. Captain Planet? Heart? Water. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Heart. Captain Planet, bro. That was the element. I'm, I'm the Yo. sixth element. She's <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. I'm trying to help her out. He <laughs> said, what's the heart? I don't know. She said that that's me. Oh, yeah. I'm element number six. See? She hey, hey okay. See? There it is. You got it. She got you. She got you. She got I told you she got a, a mixtape <laughs> somewhere. Something's that coming. That was a good PR role right there. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I ain't front. <laughs> So I have the fish tank going so you hear the water sound. I used to have a, water, a, a, a sound machine, yeah. but I believe in having like the natural elements. Yes. So you have the fish tank with the water flowing through the fountain. Mm. Um, I have the salt lamp, so it kind of takes the fire energy. Mm. Also earth, because earth is of, I mean, uh, salt, salt is of the earth. Absolutely. Um, I do light a candle mm. now. Um, so my dad, which um, he was an rest integral part. Yeah, rest of the soul. He's an integral integral part of my business journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw mad mad videos of him painting and chopping yeah. and hammering. He built that whole joint. That's what's up. Yeah, we, we tore down the um the office and mm -hmm. then we rebuilt it. So what that's you see now up. is not what it looked what it looked like, like before. That's what's up. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah, so just you and him, like and a few other, you know. But yeah, that's it has a, a friend dropping project. in, but yeah, that's yeah, what's up. Most of us, my mom as well. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. We that's did fire. a lot of that. Um. So there's a candle that he has. He, he's, um, so he was a recovering um, addict. So mm -hmm. he was heavy in sobriety. He became a, um, I'm sorry, a um, substance, substance abuse counselor. So mm -hmm. there's a candle that he actually gave me before he, a candle holder that he gave me before he passed, which has the um, serenity prayer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times throughout my healing journey, I would recite that um, serenity prayer, mm -hmm. which is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Mm -hmm. So it really helps you to compartmentalize the emotions and the things that you may be feeling or um, experiences you may have to kind of center yourself. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I now bring that element with a physical candle into the space. Mm. Um, what else? So where? The bed is all cushiony and... Yeah. There's, <laughs> heat, there's heat on the table. Yep. So when you get on okay. the table, it's heated. Um, everything is about touch. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a tactical experience for me. My hands on your body um, and then what you're feeling around. So I make mm -hmm. sure that the, the sheets are soft. Like, you know, your body's feeling something like that's not scratchy or mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm -hmm. The velvet blanket on top of you. Um, what is that, velvet? What's the problem with velvet? But it's, it's got that feel. Oh, that's yeah. what's up. Um, that's, that sounds like a lot of money in here, man. <laughs> This Come this on. gotta be this gotta be some paper because uh, take on. care you of feel me? This gotta be some paper because <laughs> yes, yes. just the type of things that you're naming. It's I, a vibe. I don't even got. It's a vibe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I ain't doing none of this stuff I, for I myself. Don't, I, don't I, don't have, I don't have a velvet blanket. You feel me? Velvet blanket. I'm just say yeah, I. Well, I feel like you can come and feel. Good PR, good PR right I got, there. I got you. That's what's up. Yeah, this man. experience sounds like a real, relaxing, real, real relaxing, yeah. real uh, transferable energy type of experience. Yeah, like, yeah. That's Double. that's different, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yo, so Faith, tell the people about the transition because when you first started, I want to say like 2015 around there, 2014. You were doing house calls only when you did before you had the space. So talk about that transition from the house calls to finding that location and you know putting a, an address to your services. Okay, so before I officially opened my business, mm -hmm. um, I had, well, no, let me fast forward. So when I graduated from school in 2008, okay. um, I started working at a chain, a massage chain. Mm -hmm. um, and I was there for maybe like four years, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, this ain't it. 
I remember mm-hmm. that that point when you were like, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. and even though it was still part time spare time, I'm like, yeah, this ain't it. I need to branch out on my own, do my own thing. Mm-hmm. Um, Gathering so, intel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it really wasn't. Um, I like that. It was. It, it wasn't necessarily a transition. It was. I am not putting money into having a space right now. Mm-hmm. I can make house calls. Mm-hmm. I did it very sparingly. I was very intentional about who I saw. So obviously, like for me, I wasn't able to build a business for the, with that mm-hmm. one. There's a safety aspect. Yes. Mm-hmm. You not you don't know who you're gonna come across. Yeah, that's true. Um, two, it's taxing on your body. Mm-hmm. Now I have a different perspective now, um, but more in depth. Mm-hmm. I I mean I'm a woman. I'm, I'm becoming a woman of a certain age, and I want children. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, lugging around heavy equipment, you don't know how long it's gonna take you to get from your the the car to the building. Once you're in the building, how many stairs you have to go up? Like yeah, it's a yeah. lot. Yeah. And then yeah. having to unpack, unload, and then me decompress to now give you the experience is just way too it's a much. Lot. Yeah. Um, if I do it, you're going to pay, and you're going to pay me a lot. A lot. That yeah, sounds yeah. exhausting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the way she just broke that down, yeah, I was like, I never even looked not at like, it like not that. Not like physically taxing, on, but just like exhausting. Yeah. Like both. I think it's both, like physical, and she said she had to decompress. Yeah, it just sounds like, that's what I'm saying. It just sounds experience. like so exhausting, yeah. like so much yeah. energy. Just Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then on top of that, you get in these different spaces and it's their energy not really yes. the energy you set up so yes. like combating yeah. with yeah. energy you don't know yeah. what to expect yeah, when you're exactly. in there so true yeah. kids screaming yeah. Yeah, nah. phones ringing like I, I like having a controlled environment mm. that's better yeah. Um, so yeah so that me making house calls were, was really just so I didn't lose my craft Yeah. and, okay. then, and then just had an opportunity to test out working mm-hmm. independently mm-hmm. Um, so I did do that for a little while it was very a very short period <laughs> yeah yeah and then the transition, well, not the transition, so the next step was getting into the to the physical space. Not immediately. Okay. Not immediately, but yes, eventually it was getting into the physical space. Okay. Once I decided that's what I wanted to do. Okay. I yeah, didn't know that this is what I wanted to do as a career, to be honest with you, even though I did it. And I went yeah. in, I was still looking and trying to decide what other careers that I wanted to do. So mm-hmm. what were some of the choices, some of the other choices before you got into before you fully got invested into this, what were some of the other choices? If you're allowed to say, I know this is never Tucky Town Radio, but you know, you might, you know, yeah, I was gonna be the craziest hustler you heard. Statues and limitations. I was about to, I was about to, I knew a couple people that I was about to get it going. <laughs> don't, don't incriminate yourself if you're gonna do that. Isn't that what I'm doing now? <laughs> Oh, man. That's good. Um, I, I always wanted to um, be in the arts. So from mm-hmm. high school, I thought I was going to go into fashion design. Mm-hmm. That's okay. what I intended okay. to do. Mm-hmm. Got into schools, couldn't afford it. Um, so then I just started working in the medical field, full-time job. Okay. Mom got me a full-time job right out of high school. I'm working in a, a medical office. Um, so that's where I was for a period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, I attempted to go to school for graphic design. Um, I studied for the real estate exam, <laughs> almost mm-hmm. became a real estate agent. You know, Scott, I took that exam too. Yeah. Yeah, I did take that exam. We going back together? Mm, I mean, I took the actually no 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 I'm lying I didn't take the real estate design I took the life insurance that life insurance yeah, policy yeah. exam to go door to door and lie to people. Bro, <laughs> that exam is the worst. So that joint was crazy. I took life accident insurance. That joint was crazy. Uh, life so accident sorry. health. Yeah. That joint is 166 questions, all word questions. None of them are like... No, no I mean? multiple choice or anything no, like that? It's all multiple choice. Oh, okay, okay. The, the, the fully worded questions. You know oh, like paragraphs. Like paragraph, and, and then you had to select. And, and you got like, three hours to do that. I just didn't like... <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I just didn't like after finding out some information throughout the life insurance process of like how they view us as just numbers. Yep. And right. then I got to go to like somebody's house. And, and act like you care and about it. just live like to their face. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's nasty. Yeah, put this here, put this there. But like, not to be mistaken, we must... All of us got to get, we really should be taking life insurance out on our friends so that yes. when people don't make it, we all, yeah. your yes. kids are Life good, insurance is extremely good. important. Yeah. Yes. Don't, don't get it twisted. There's life insurance is extremely important. But I'm just yeah. saying, you didn't want to me, yeah. I'm not selling life insurance. <laughs> so I can't sell it. I, I, I don't know if I can sell it. It's sure. important to know. I mean, okay. So, yes, I was a licensed life insurance agent. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so many hats. Yo, you so Jamaican? Many, yes. Are you Jamaican now? Because <laughs> we got mad hats. Mad hats. We got mad hats. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Gotta ask. Before, before I actually, with my, my ex, we actually were in business together, and I had my nice. life insurance license through that. So Okay, that's what's um, up. Now, yes, it's very important to be, to be cautious of that. We, 
in my opinion, the company that we were working with, we weren't telling any people lies. There are a lot of different types of life insurances. Mm -hmm. You have to be very clear on the agent that you're working with mm -hmm. to make sure that they're giving you the right. Yeah, that's right why I didn't policy. say any names because I didn't want to throw yeah, up yeah. the names. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah, of course. There's, there's, there's some it was stuff crazy. out there. There's yeah, some it was stuff crazy. out there. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so what else did I do? Um, right before going to um, massage school, I was I actually attended school for interior design. So I have a certification. I can do kitchen bathroom design, some light interior design. Yeah, I wanted to work with, with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just wanted to be in the arts. I wanted to do something yeah. creative. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, but then in order for me to get my bachelor's, I needed a little bit more money, and yeah. my money wasn't there. Mm -hmm. um, so I was taking online classes. Something popped up about massage being a booming industry, and I'm like, oh, well, let's try that. You know, I'm not, That's crazy. I'm not averse so you to trying. Stumbled into it. Absolutely. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I like that, man. Yeah. I, I like it because you know you didn't know what you wanted to do, so, so she so tried like, everything. I'm trying this, I'm yeah. trying this, and yep. through trial and error and a couple of different formulas of you, you know, figuring out. Your own plan and your own path. Now look at where you are. So yeah. that's why I laugh. It's funny because yeah. you never know where you're gonna end up. That's no. a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, this is my final destination. That's hey. a fact. Yeah. yeah. And now you're a master at what you do. Yes. Yeah. Master. Yeah. So talk about. Um, that's a good segue. So talk about the art. We're talking about art. So what about the events that you host at mm. your uh, at your spot? Tell the people about the house. So, the yeah. house of Nenriki. Mm -hmm. um, so. When I initially started, um, I had a small office um, where I was only doing massage. It was uh, um, the massage room, a little like waiting room, office area, and a shared bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was out to lunch with my cousin one day, and she's like, cousin, I think I want to go to school for to be a yoga teacher. And I'm like, all right, cool. Um, I said, if you do that, then I'll make sure I open up a spot so that you can teach yoga. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of months later, she was like, um, I registered for yoga school. I'm like... <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> I wasn't expecting oh. it to be so soon. Nah, yeah. nah. So I went right back to the good old Wycrit.com and started, mm -hmm. you know, stalking again. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't, I wasn't ready. Didn't have the finances for it, mind you. Like, remember, just in 2014, I just started my business. Yes. And I would yeah. say this conversation happened towards the end of 2014. Okay. Oh wow! So so I, the same I, year. That's yeah, crazy. that's yeah. crazy. So I went, found a spot. It was dope, it was super expensive, but I'm like, it's mine, I'm gonna get it. Mm -hmm. um, they denied me, I'm like, as long as it's available, it's mine, I'm gonna get it. Mm -hmm. um, and went on Wycrit.com, still looked, stumbled upon something else that was like a fraction of the price that was like two blocks down from my office, which is my current space now. Mm -hmm. I walked in, it was it was a fixer upper, and I'm just looking around, this is where my interior design um, mm -hmm. you know, skills come in. Of course, of course. And I look and I'm like, all right, we can transform this. So we signed the lease on, May in May 2015, mm -hmm. and we literally buy cash. Um, I did a GoFundMe. You know, I had oh, my, my community fine. help to you that's know fine. finance. Yeah, the yeah that's so tough. So that takes a village. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. does. Crowdfunding. Yes. Group economics. Mm -hmm. We don't do it enough. Yes. We, yes. Don't we don't do it enough. We don't. Um, it's changed. So yeah. now. Yes, it, it is. is. Yeah. The, the conversation is definitely open. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so it took us a year by hand and by cash. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't take out any. I mean, the, the, the GoFundMe wasn't a large amount of money, but it was a nice little start for the deposit. Mm -hmm. Just to um, see people donate. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sort of look. Breath, yeah. I mean, uh, wing under, wind under your wings. Yes. So, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You got a village there. Yeah. Yeah. I have a village behind me yeah. that is unstoppable. Yes. yes. Um, so, yeah, so it took us literally a year um, to do all the renovations. Um, it took us a few months to do the, the studio portion. Mm. So I was able to get my cousin in there to start doing things. And I started thinking, okay, so what else are we doing? Actually, when I did the GoFundMe, I started thinking, well, what is this for? Because is it just for me? And if I'm bringing the community in to help, then I want to make sure the community is able to benefit from this as well. Mm -hmm. um, so my thought process was, we're going to talk about the arts. We're going to bring art into this space. Um, have a awesome. space for artists to do galleries, have a space for entrepreneurs to just have a platform mm -hmm. because not all of us can afford to have a space, to mm -hmm. have a brick and mortar. Mm -hmm. So true. I'm able to now provide that space for mm -hmm. um, for artists. Um, we ended up coming up with an event called, well, what's now called Soul Saturdays. Yep. Um, initially, it was just supposed to be an open mic experience. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to bring in um, eventually, we wanted to bring in um, chefs, like up and coming chefs, to now mm -hmm. cater to the event, mm -hmm. um, to get their name out there, mm -hmm. um, to have like musicians or poets um, come on 
and get their their name out there and get their talent out there. Mm -hmm. But it, it ended up being after the first couple that we've had, I had a few people come up to me and they're like, "Thank you for doing this. We this was so needed." Mm -hmm. And then I had to sit back and think, okay. You can't just do things without a purpose. Mm -hmm. um, there's a platform, and it has to give value. Mm -hmm. um, so now we started um, looking up speakers, so motivational uh, speakers. So now you have this intimate event of maybe 35 to 40 people in a room. Before COVID, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. COVID. I can't wait to be able to do this again. Mm -hmm. Um, and I told you guys I'm shy, and I'm well. I, like I told y'all I'm nervous. I like you. <laughs> I like, I better, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like not shy. I am shy. I am shy. I am a bit of a stop it. I am. Stop it. Try it. Go ahead. I ain't trying to hear none of this. None of this. When I do go to, to networking events, I generally like post up in the corner. I won't work the room. I'll okay. post up in the corner and I wait to see who. Well. Who aligns with yeah, me? Yeah. Who approaches me? Mm -hmm. um, and then I network from there. Mm. Once I have your eye contact and once you're in my space, we'll talk all night long. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I know that that doesn't necessarily work. Then I also realize that there are other people who are probably like me. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So <laughs> creating this event, it made it intimate, so that by the time you leave, you can literally know the names of everybody in the in room. In the room. Mm -hmm. um, we had a really dynamic host who helped to make it interactive, to mm. break those barriers, yes. have those icebreakers to be able to help everyone get to know each other in the room. Um, and it just really, really turned out great. I mean, between the speakers and the, the artists that were booked, they've collaborated and done things outside of the House and Enrique together so and, and, and built bonds and connections. That's so so. It's, it's really been, it's been amazing. But, the, you know, the space is there. Um, we've had salsa classes, compa classes, oh, oh. Um, paint and sips. Okay. Um, <laughs> spoken um, word. Muscle. We have, yeah, yeah. Well, no, we actually haven't fully had a spoken word yet, but I do have somebody's name on a card right now, lady, that I need to, um, I need to contact. Okay. So I think that's going to probably be the first event that we have coming out that's of fine. coming out of COVID. That's what's so nice. do that. Um, yeah. This That's is what's up, man. This yeah, is, you this got a lot of things going for on. For real, yeah. I thought let's, I was busy. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the, uh, oh, the care uh -oh. packages. Uh -oh. Let's see what we got in here with, with my guy Aiden. Aiden, can you, uh, Z, you want to uh, display yours for Absolutely. Aiden? Absolutely. Hold on. I'm, I'm, just, I'm ready. I already started opening my gift. I'm ready. I'm First, notice, notice the colors. Notice the colors. Yeah. Yeah. RBG. The colors. You RBG. You already know what it is. Pan African movement. You feel me? Then, and it continues. Ruby Divin Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. To being the change I wish to see. See, yes. That's fine. Yes. That's fine. I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance first. Yes. yes. I pledge allegiance to, to, be, to, to being, the being the change I wish to see. see. What else we got in here? Yeah, man, you're getting too much yeah. money out of here. Organic yes. herbal tea. Relax and oh, unwind. Yeah. You see it? $50 yeah. voucher. Oh, oh she gave me $50. Okay. Sea salt <laughs> caramel chocolate? Yo, what? This girl's yeah, getting money yeah, out here. Yes. You, gotta, you gotta pull up. Yo, you gotta card pull up. Thank up. you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. So there's a little there. You can actually know the... Um, this right here, right? Yes, yes, yes. So that is... Um, uh -oh. We started... Uh -oh. I think COVID for this one. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm still working on the labeling. Okay. But these are essential oil misters. Okay. So this oh. one, they're all labeled... Um, I'm all about manifestations, right? Okay, yeah. So, and I intentionally named these things. This one has, um, um, I'm sorry, peppermint and sweet orange. Okay. Um, that's all about enlightenment, clarity, uh -huh. um, rejuvenation. Okay. And um, the name of this is called Innovate. So I know you guys okay, are creative. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to make sure I brought that to you. So oh, the thank special you thing about so this much. with COVID is you can put a little spritz inside of your mask because then we all we all hate it. Yes. It makes yes. it a lot more bearable. Oh, more I'm actually going to so. do that tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, you so then, much. Um, so these, you spritz the air with it? You spritz your body? Like, you how, can, do, how do people use it? Mostly um, the air. Okay. Mm. Um, my favorite is when you spray it on your pillow. Okay. Um, uh, or in your room before you go to bed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the mask as well. Question. Yes. For, for, for all my young guys out there, you know, I just I just heard that yes. something, 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 something's legal now. Yes. But does this help with the smell of something, 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 something being legal? <laughs> of the scrub deliosis. You feel me? The, you know, the greenery for the scenery. You know, if we spray this in the air after a greenery session, is this a, a good thing to do? I'm sure it can. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Young guys. So all you yeah. young guys out there with that greenery going, yes. you know, <laughs> hit but the nah, spritz, you heard? Up. Thank you so much for Wow. Me. I'm definitely going to uh, use crazy. this for sure. Absolutely. That little spray gimmick, it already, I already smelt it. You know, I couldn't wait. <laughs> Wait, so when yes, are you going to... Yeah, yeah, so are these already available for the people? Yeah, or? so they're available online. You can okay. go to nanookytherapy.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can purchase the mugs. You can purchase... Um, and we have various um, sayings on the mug. Um, okay. Oh, okay. All about, you know, self-talk, positive mm -hmm. self-talk. Yes, yeah. affirmations and all that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, there are about six different, um, saying smell like, really good. Smell um, good, right? Yeah, and totally. six cents also. Mmm. That's dope. And it's all natural, right? 100% pure. Some there oils. you go. Some are Ooh. organic, but they're all That's dope. Natural. That's dope. That's my type of product. Damn. That's, 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 that's what we yeah, love to do. So it mistake. smells so good. We'll yes. spray that in the room. It smells mad. <laughs> you know, I did. I told you I was going to spray it, man. <laughs> you you said it, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> I didn't hear you, but I smelled it. <laughs> it's it's right here. Y'all make sure y'all yeah, get your vouchers, yep, too, man. Get your if y'all see one of these out there, I don't know where you're going to see it, but if you see it, Make sure you get you one. I'm telling you, it's yes. gonna be worth it. If you don't it. see it, um, it's it's linked on the website. Mm. It's it's a hidden link on the website. But if you want it, then DM me at Nenriki Therapy on IG. Okay. Who is her? Who Who's her PR? Her PR. Yeah. That was amazing. That was so smooth. She's I thought seasoned. that was good. She's I, her, I was good. I, that was crazy. I, I can't even touch that. Her, her transition game was you crazy. You saw that? That was a crazy seamless. transition right there. It, it was just seamless. Yeah. She's an OG to this entrepreneur. I'm telling you, when I was drowning in corporate, like I, I didn't yeah. even have my own identity at that point. Yeah. 2012, like, mm. I was fully corporate. Yeah. She was, she was already in it, bro. Like, uh, she was, oh, sucker. Oh, you still wearing that tie, sucker? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You ain't working for yeah. yourself, yeah. You ain't working for yourself. Oh. <laughs> she was never one of them people. She, she, That's look, hilarious. one of these up, down, up, What you doing? Uh -huh. All right, now what I will say. <laughs> That's what's up. What I will say. For, first of all, our journey. I've done so many things in my short little life. Every job that I've ever had. Any uh, multi-level opportunity that I've dipped and dabbled in, yeah, yeah. Um, all of those are tools for my entrepreneurs yeah, right now. Yeah. So I'm never gonna like hate on anybody for the that. things that they do. But <laughs> so true. if you come to me and you tell me that you want to do X, Y, and Z, and you're scared and you're still sitting in that time, yeah. not moving, then yes, I'm gonna give you that look. Yes. I'm gonna hold you accountable to your goals. I'm gonna hold you accountable to your dreams. Mm. <laughs> um, but if you're not there yet. Yeah. I'll let you chill. Yeah. But yeah. If you come to me and you say you want that. The moment you, the moment, the moment you say you're thing. ready. The yeah. moment you say it, yeah. not me. Yeah. I'm gonna always tell you you're ready. Yep. Yeah. So it's the moment you say, it, all right, then let's go. And then now it's on you. It's the on you. On yes. You. The ball's in your court. Clock is on you. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I definitely, I definitely can relate to that. Now, and I have to say, outside of books, she's the first entrepreneur that I knew that looked like me that was really. Mm. On their business, yeah. yes. I mean? Bugs like, was on his business. You yeah. have been on, on your, your business, business yes. girl. You've you been on your grind. You're the first one in our age group outside of Bugs to really, you know, what I'm saying, have your own and, business. And she's yeah. repping for the ladies. That's a fact. Yes. That's a fact. That's what's up, man. Wait, is it still March? No, no. Oh, so, oh, 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 I just so. nah, but that's how we do. You that's feel how, me? Yeah. You you feel appreciate me? the ladies you feel all me? the time. Yes. Always. Yes. Every month is Women International Women's Month with us. Yes, you know? yes, man. Women's History Month. I mean, women's history happens Absolutely. every day. Absolutely. Right? Creating so. It. Absolutely. Creating oh, it. man. This this episode was a vibe, man. I love this episode. DSP, man. I mean, this was a good a good choice, man. Hey, hey. You I, did I, your research. Yo, you, you, your got, you guys told you me. Did. You guys told me there was a slot open. I was like, I promised her that I got to get you on the radio show. So, mm, made it happen. Glad she was able to pull I'm, up. I'm not mad. And yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure, if not this month, next month, the month after, I will be seeing that <laughs> last podcast promo, promo code. code. You know this guy's the promo <laughs> code kid. Yo, man. Hey, hey, you you know, know it's coming. I hear the commercial now. Oh, did you just have a session and want to get the room <laughs> smelling right? <laughs> use, the, use promo code the blast. Yo, y'all are horrible. <laughs> but yo, man. Thank hold on, you. Hold on, before we get out of here, she got to tell us what's in the future for a man. Yes. Please. Yes, because I think expansion is something you're working mm. on, correct? Let the people know. Yeah. We got yes. to get five minutes. Let the people know. <laughs> So, um, a couple of things. Um, it's been predominantly me running this place, um, but I realize that when you're in business, to me, and this is no shade to anybody else, um, when you're in business, 
especially a service-based business, mm -hmm. if you aren't creating opportunities for other people to yes. work, then do you Talk really have Talk about it. That's Talk right. about um, it. So that's the next step for me is to be able to um, provide space and opportunity and a client base for other massage therapists, mm -hmm. um, other service providers. A real boss. That's dope. Yes. All of that, absolutely. That's dope. Um, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, Right before COVID, um, I opened another office in North New Jersey mm -hmm. um, that unfortunately I couldn't keep after once COVID hit. COVID, yeah. Um, but I've been doing like my little side stuff, just keeping my um, keeping my clientele. So I have a little secret location out in North now. Mm. Um, secret location, yeah. platinum package on the platinum <laughs> package. <laughs> um, so yes, I, I have my little VIP clientele in Newark right now. That it's I not see. little. You have your VIP. Stop using the yeah. word. Yeah, little. stop using yeah. little. Yeah. Go ahead. Ain't nothing little about what you're doing. No. So say it again. You have your clientele. Like not a table, sir. And you holding me accountable. Hey, yeah, hold now. Account yeah, what you thought yeah. this was? I feel like. <laughs> 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 I feel like. What, you, what you thought this was? Don't <laughs> <laughs> be little with your hand. What about that? You doing the best? You feel me? What's going on? Um, so I have my VIP clientele in Newark, um, and. By this so. year, I'll be opening up another physical brick and mortar. That's what I like to hear. Right. Newark, so by I'll this buy year. Norville and Newark mm -hmm. locations for an energy therapy. Wait, two locations? Five. Two locations. Two yes. locations? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Talk that talk, man. Yeah, man. Balls talk. Any that of you basketball talk. players out there that need the muscle whisperer. Yo, Dominican college. That was two, three minutes away, Dominican. Facts. Pull up. That's facts. Yeah. Wow. Stack. Stack Pull right up. there, yep. So we, don't worry. Yeah, don't we worry about that. Any B, any B, Northeast basketball. basketball. Yeah, yeah. Word. Out there, pull up. Yeah, man, Trust she'll me. take care of you. She'll yeah. take care of you. She Use the promo thing. code. The <laughs> 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 That's on camera. <laughs> Yo, I'm only laughing because I know, and I'm gonna be tight the day it happens, man. When I see the little commercial joint of DSP with his little voice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, DSP. Ah, oh, here we go. Listen, you're gonna have his DMs and my DMs. Yeah, going crazy. Going crazy. All good. good. All good. Look at that money. Money. Get yes. the money. Get the money. <laughs> you already know. But Faith, thank you so much for pulling out. This was a great, me. great episode. And you closed it out. Lovely. Z, you did your thing. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate leading, you, brother. Appreciate you. Leading the conversation with Miss Faith Smash. And a lot of history. I've known her since Yes, I history, see. Bro. I see. That's what's she lived, in, she lived over the gate behind our house. Really? She lived in Kensington. Kensington. Ah, yeah. oh, see, see. I asked her, where was she from? She's like, ah, oh, you know, I'm from Mount Vernon. But I no, did. I said Vernon. both. I said oh, both. Okay. No, but she, she, no, 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 she, she ain't town talking. She did say. Don't get me in trouble, DSP. No, no, no. I didn't say what I said. I didn't say what I said. I didn't finish. <laughs> she did say. She did say. I graduated from North Rockland High School. And I was like, Oh well, you from here? You from here? Then. You know what I mean? So yes, you know, gotta let me. The first time you, you held whoever's hand and had butterflies in your stomach, you from here? Yep, that's, that's facts. Wherever you caught them butterflies yes. at, that's where you from. Talk about it, Brad. <laughs> Talk about it. But no, right, so thank you. Tell the people where they can find you, and then yes. we can wrap it up. Yep. N e n r i k i therapy on all platforms. IG, Facebook, my website, NenrikiTherapy.com. That's it. That's what's up. No, the, the event space, the event space. House oh, America. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta oh, yeah, promote the, that event yeah, space. Cause we might BOH play his playlist. We might need to rent out the event space for some of our artists, huh? Yeah. For some showcases, yeah. some yeah. or something. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Some intimate scenes for our artists, yes. live stream, pay per views, and all that. We'll talk off the show. Uh, yeah. The glamour life video. Oh, visual. Oh, chill. Chill. I just put a glamour life. Chill. <laughs> we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk off yeah, camera. Have faith talk. in the video, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come check me. <laughs> I'm tight. Really a good time, guys. I'm tight, so one time for the one time. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you so much. Two. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's. Oh, House and Enrique. Yeah. That's IG. Yes. Okay, Make sure y'all check that out, man, because. Y'all gonna y'all gonna need the muscle whisper, I promise you. Yes, first indeed. of all, first of all, before we go, some of y'all coming back with these quarantine legs thinking y'all just yep. gonna jump right back on the court. Nope. It's not gonna happen. Nope. All nope. right. Go see the muscle whisper, get y'all stuff right. Get Trust your me. body right, man. Get your body right, man. Coming out here and getting yourself broken up and then blaming me. <laughs> 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 get your body right, you heard? Oh man. Let's get out of here, bro. Y'all ready. See y'all next week. Y'all ready. <laughs> That was a great episode, man, as per usual. Thanks for watching, guys. I can't see any of those messages. <laughs> Don't.
They just wave it? No, 